This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is it possible to display the shortcut for a brush on its icon? So this question was sent along with an image, and here we have the image here. And the user is looking to display the shortcut or the hotkey for the brush on its icon. So you can see with the move brush, the hotkey was set to two, and the user is looking to have that two hotkey be displayed on that brush's icon. So is there a way to do this inside of ZBrush? So there is no way inside of ZBrush to have the hotkey associated with the brush to dynamically show up on its icon. However, you can go through and create custom icons for any of the brushes and have it display anything that you'd like. So I'm just gonna go through the process of generating a custom icon for a brush. And this custom icon could be anything. You can come through and modify it in Photoshop or you can even create these icons inside of ZBrush itself. And once you change the icon associated with that brush, you just simply need to save the brush and then the next time you load ZBrush, that new icon will be there instead of the old one. So that will allow you a similar functionality where you can come through and set custom icons for all your brushes and have them display anything even the hotkeys that may be associated with them. So I'm gonna jump over to ZBrush here quick. And inside of ZBrush here, I just have a polysphere loaded in and I've just divided this up a little bit. So if I come to the geometry tab here, it has four subdivisions and I'm up to 1.5 million points. And so let's say I have the standard brush selected and I wanna make a new icon for the standard brush. So maybe I wanna have it associated with its hotkey. So let's say I wanna bind that standard brush to the number five on my keyboard. So maybe I want to add a number five to the bottom here, or maybe I just want to change what this icon looks like. So first thing I'm gonna do is just export out an image from ZBrush of what I want this icon to be. So I'm just gonna take this sphere here and I'm just gonna sculpt something on it really quick. So I'm gonna come through and say, maybe I don't like that swirl that was on the standard brush there, and maybe I want it to be more of an S. So I'm gonna come through and just sculpt an S out here. Maybe I wanna also you know, do some digging in so just creating a simple icon for this. Now once you have the sculpting done, just to speed up the process a little bit more, you wanna just change your canvas color here to black. So I'm gonna come over here to the document panel and open this up. I'm gonna to come to the background color here. And I'm just gonna click this and drag over to the secondary color over here, which is black, and then release, and now I should have my background color set to black. Now I can go to the document panel again, open this up, and now I can just go to export. This is gonna export the canvas. So it's just gonna take the model as you see it on ZBrush here and export this out. So I'm gonna click this button and now I'm just going to export this out. So we'll export this out as standard brush and then just save that. And now I'm just going to open up Photoshop. So here we have Photoshop here. And now I'm just gonna to navigate to that folder where I saved that file. So here we have that standard brush file here. And I'm just gonna open this into Photoshop. So here we have our icon. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna to navigate to my ZBrush brush presets folder. So here is that folder there. And this is located in your ZBrush 407 directory underneath Z startup and then in the brush presets folder. Now in this brush presets folder, you can load in any custom brushes. So you can see I have a bunch of custom brushes loaded here. And anything that's in this folder will load by default when you start ZBrush. So if you want to have any brushes load when ZBrush starts that aren't the standard ones, you can copy them to this folder, and then these will load when ZBrush starts. And also in this folder, you'll see there is a PSD file called Brush Icon Sample. So I'm just going to select this file here and then drag this into Photoshop as well. And here we have the Brush Sample icon. Now this file is pretty small, so it only has a resolution of 96 pixels by 96 pixels but this is your template for generating brush icons. So I can come through here and just paste whatever I want in this and then save this out, and now I can load this as a default icon inside of ZBrush. So I'm gonna go back to the standard brush icon I just created. I'm gonna grab the selection tool here, drag this out holding shift, frame that entire image, and I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna go into my brush sample icon here and paste it, and then just simply resize this. And if I'm done with the resize, just hit enter, and now I have generated this image here. So I've just taken that image that I made inside of ZBrush, and now I've just transferred it to this brush icon sample. Now I can come through and just say select a new color. So I can come through here and just select, say, white. Grab the text tool, make sure I have Arial here, and I'm just going to put the number 5, and then move that into the corner. 
And so now I've created this as my icon for my brush. And I can just save this. I'm going to file up here, go to save as, and I'm just going to save this as a PSD. I'm going to just turn the layers off. So saving as a copy. And I'm just going to put this in as standard brush and then click save. So now I've just generated an icon for that brush. Now I'm going to go back over to ZBrush. Now once we're back in ZBrush, I'm just going to make sure I have the brush selected that I want to change the icon for. I'm going to navigate up here to the brush palette now. And up here, there is a select icon button. So when you click the select icon button, it's going to open a window and just have you select the icon that you want to now associate with this brush. So I'm just going to select this icon that we just saved out. And I'm going to click open. And now after you click open, you're going to see that the brushes icon itself has been updated. So now the standard brush has this icon associated with it. And it also has that number five appearing on the side. So you can do this with any of the brushes. You can go through and replace their icons and make them whatever you want them to be. Now, after this icon has been changed, you want to make sure you resave the brush. So going back up to the brush menu up here and clicking Save As and saving that brush. And then once you have this brush loaded in ZBrush, this icon should now always be associated with it. So now there is an alternate functionality for this brush select icon button here. And this functionality allows you to generate a brush icon using any meshes inside of ZBrush. So as an example of this, let's just go to Lightbox quick by hitting comma on my keyboard. I'm gonna navigate to the tool folder over here and I'm just gonna select the demo head, and load that in. Then I'm hit comma on my keyboard to close Lightbox. And so now let's say I have the demo head and I wanna use this demo head as my brush icon. So instead of exporting this out and going through that entire process inside of Photoshop, all I need to do inside of ZBrush is come to the brush palette over here, hover over the select icon button again, hold down alt and then click. And this is going to take whatever mesh I have displayed on my canvas here and use that as the brush icon. So if I wanted the standard brush now to have the demo head as the icon, I now have just replaced the icon there and I can just save this brush. And now when you load that brush back in, it will now come in with its icon being the demo head. And this will work on any mesh inside of ZBrush, and it's looking at the position of the model as it is on the canvas. So if I rotate the demo head to the side, or maybe generate some awkward positioning like this, and say turn perspective on, then I go back to that brush menu up here, hover over the select icon, hold down Alt on your keyboard, and then click. And now it's going to use the demo head in this position as the icon. So that's another way you can just generate quick icons four brushes inside of ZBrush. So if I want to just have that standard sphere again as my icon, but maybe not have the number, I can now position my sphere, go back to the brush palette over here, hold down Alt, click Select Icon, and now I'm gonna have this as my standard brush icon. So those are two ways you can come through and just customize the icons inside of ZBrush, and that will allow you to display whatever you want on the brush. So you could have the icons tailored to display the hotkey that the brush pulls, or even some other sort of models or images associated with them. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!